And Rafik, go ahead and get us started. Hey, congratulations on the win. I just want to know, like, what are some of the ways you had to slow down Candace Parker and the Las Vegas Aces, excuse me, the Chicago Sky since they came back and actually took a lead? Um, I think the biggest thing is just understanding that it was a team effort. Uh, yes, we all have our individual assignments on certain people, but at the end of the day, it just really came down to us communicating on the defensive end and executing on the offensive end. I think we got away from that in the second half and showed, and you can't do that against a good Chicago team that's going to make you pay with transition buckets and easy buckets. So at the end of the day, we had to really rally together and just make things work on the fly. Uh, that's basketball, that's professional basketball, and just I'm glad we got out with the win. And a follow-up question, I just want to ask you, like, how was this team able to keep it together with Liz KB having to miss some games due to COVID? I mean, we're all professional athletes. Uh, we, we know our assignments, and we just got to get the job done. Yes, Liz is a big part of us, uh, but, it's, but we're, we're on this team for a reason, and we're just going to continue to try to uplift and fill those big shoes that are missing right now, especially with her and you missing. It's a lot on me, uh, and I have to make sure that I'm there, locked in for my team for 40 minutes. Thank you for your time. Yep. Hey, AJ, just to follow up on that, I think this is the first time all year uh, that you're without Volcano, and I had to take you back to the bubble, <laughs> um, playing with all those two. How did that situation, uh, both in the finals and against the Sun, prepare you for situations like these? Yeah, uh, it's it's big time, uh, big time basketball right now. You know, this is heading into playoffs, and it, and it was a moment where I look back and I'm like, wow, we, we are in the bubble again, it feels like. Uh, but at this point, I'm just going to rally my teammates together and lean on them more now uh, than they probably ever would have felt right now. Because I need that, I need that, I need them behind me. I can't do this by myself, I won't do this by myself. And at the end of the day, it just takes for us to really come together as a team and just execute. I think that's the hardest part, but also the easiest part on us because we have so much talent. So it's gonna be tough. Uh, we're gonna hope that they can get back with us soon, but with right now, we just gotta go with what we have. And then I think Tim Lee changes tonight, a bunch of like five or six or seven or runs for both teams. Um, you keep your composure in a game like that and not let the ups and downs kind of impact the next play. Yeah, it's just understanding that basketball is a game of runs. Uh, and know that you can't get too high with your highs and get too low with your lows. I think that's the beauty of the Chicago Sky and Aces battle. It's just always something. Uh, we're always going to give it a good game, and I love that. I don't want to say rivalry, but I love that matchup that we have for them. It's always good. But, yeah, you just got to stay consistent, uh, keep calm, and just play your game. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Tough third quarter for the team tonight, but you were resilient in the fourth. What did Coach say to you at the end of the game? Uh, you won, but you didn't look all that thrilled about it. When does Bill ever look thrilled? Um, <laughs> right, I got to think about it. Uh, you know, he just really showed us that this is what it's going to be. Uh, we have to play hard for 40 minutes or you're going to let teams back in and then it's a dog fight. And yes, they're fun to watch, uh, but it's hell to play in. So at the end of the day, we really just have to continue to execute and really lock in for 40 minutes. That third quarter was piss poor. There should be no reason why we should look like that, why we should run our plays and sets like that. And we can't do that because playoffs is completely different uh, and we can't be, right, be like that right now. So that's what he honestly told us is we have to beat us uh, for 40 minutes. You play a lot of basketball in your life. At this point, do you, how does the adversity feel more necessary. You've gone through so much now, and you've had to play with with injury. You've had players missing, but now you kind of feel like you played through it a little bit. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's things that we've been going on. I feel like throughout my whole career, you know, you can't get too high because you're like, all right, something is going too well. What's going to happen? And you hate to live like that, but you know, you do have that cushion that you can fall back on, and that's your teammates. Uh, I'm going to ride for my teammates no matter what, and I know they got my back and I got theirs, and that's when you really stream together the most and the tightest. As has already mentioned, we were without Liz Cambage today, but Kia Stokes came up pretty big, particularly in the rebound department. Can you just talk a little bit more about her play and uh, her impact on today's game? Yeah, Kia was huge. Uh, she, Without her, we, we wouldn't probably have half the rebounds that we have. Uh, she knows her assignment. She knows her role, and it's great to have someone like Kia that – she does the little things that don't necessarily show up on a stat sheet. So she was big for us. Uh, just a great teammate, and we're glad to have Kia with us, especially during these moments. And I feel like there were about a half a dozen incredible dribble cutback, Chelsea Gray, Chelsea Plum, back and forth. 
Uh, could you actually see any of those moves while you were out there? And which one was most impressive? Oh my God. I told him, I was like, dang, they've been watching me because, like, that's my game. Like, it's snatch back. Like, all of them, Bay, KP, Chelsea, like, they went crazy today. I was, like, just as entertained as the fans were on the court, just playing alongside and watching it. It's literally art. So, shout out to the guards. They've been in my bag too much. I got to start digging a little deeper now, catching on to me. <laughs> Hey, Asia, good game. Um, mm -hmm. Talk about uh, Bria Holmes and what she's going to bring to the team. Coach say you guys are a little shorthanded. Um, what do you think she'll provide to the team that you guys are missing? Yeah, I think she's going to provide great energy for us. I just remember competing against her and being like, oh, my gosh, I don't want to guard Bria because she's just going to be all over the place. Uh, she constantly gets a rebound. She does everything. She does the little things uh, for her team. So uh, we're excited to have her. Uh, and let her soak up all the energy that we have and just keep rocking and rolling. Yeah, we're down a couple, but we can bring somebody like Bria in that can do those little things, uh, things that we might necessarily not want to do. It's always good to have that cushion. So we're excited to have her. And uh, to follow up, what what is something that you learned about the team today or you you all learned about each other um, as you guys continue in this uh, regular season push um, into the playoffs? Um. Uh... I learned that when we want to be a defensive team, we're pretty good at what we do. When we want to communicate, when we want to be there and trust, enough, just trust each other, we're really, really good and hard to score on. I mean, when we had that shot clock violation, that was huge for us because like normally we don't get that far into our defense, but I'm so glad that we stuck together and we strung and we were on a string. And I think when we are like that, we're pretty, pretty hard to beat because then offensively you get going. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jim, we had the court pass now. We turned it into a four-point possession that, that gave you the lead for good. Did you feel like the air kind of got out of Chicago at that point and you got a lot of momentum going? Um, I don't know necessarily if it came out of them. I think they still just kind of played us really, really tough and hard. Uh, but I think the biggest thing was that fourth quarter because we had, we finally adjusted to the fact that they amped their defense up. So we had to amp our defense up as well. And they just started – just really just pressuring us. And I think once we got out of the third quarter, that was horrible. Fourth quarter, I think we settled in and started to adjust. So I think that was really the turning point where we were like, all right, we can get our momentum. We can start swinging now, playing basketball like we do. Thanks for your time, Asia. Safe travel to Chicago. We'll see you Sunday, ABC, 12 o'clock local. And we'll be back with Ron Williams right after this. Thank you for watching the Chicago Bulls Live Really? <laughs> 5150, the attendance, which is, of course, the police code for who knows it? Escape. <laughs>